Hey everyone, um, so I'm gonna start this by just telling you all the things over my lifetime that I have not really liked about my body. Stomach, belly, you know, it's not really showing here. This is like the big one. I've never really liked that that much. Um, there have been times I didn't really like my face. It felt like it was way too round. Um, my arms, I felt like they were kind of chubby at different times. Uh, gosh, my inner thighs, it's like a big one, right? Like, oh, they rub together. <laughs> That's a travesty. Anyway, um, I'm telling all of you of this because I spent a lot of my life criticizing my body and um, I'm looking back at the last 10 years and looking at how I was and even 10 years ago, I was already teaching yoga and I was still pretty hard on myself. I was still pretty tough on my body and when I look back around the biggest shifts I've had over the last 10 years, physically, mentally, emotionally around my health and around my body, a huge one is honestly the conversation I have with my body around what it can do. Um, and a lot of the way that conversation has shifted has actually been by using my body more. Um, 10 years ago, I hadn't started my column, my fitness column started in 2012. And so that is like a huge, God, that was such a big shift um, that I actually write about a lot in my book that comes out next year. And it's, it's all about like my movement journey and that change to being a mover. Because really when I started writing that column, I was like, oh, I'm a yoga teacher. And you know, I'm like semi-strong, it's fine, no biggie. But um, I still had a lot of pretty critical conversations with myself. And a lot of what changed around my view of my body and my strength and my body's capacity to do a lot really came by using it a lot. Like it came from realizing I could weight lift and I could get stronger. It came from walking a lot and then realizing that I could walk and do yoga in one day. Like that was amazing. Um, it came from me doing things like starting to progress in different yoga poses. It came from me challenging myself into a million things like roller skating and trampoline and um, climbing trees and just like all of this stuff and realizing that my body was really capable of so much and that going through all of those shifts and changes over the last 10 years really cemented in my mind what was actually important and whether my inner thighs rub really have nothing has nothing to do whatsoever with whether I'm strong and so it's a it's I'm sharing all of this with you because one of the things I'm looking at at the end of 2019 is a reflecting back on my life and then looking the last 10 years and how things have shifted for me shifted for me and my health is allowing me to set myself up for how do I want my health to be in 2020 and how do I want my health to be moving forward and I really have to say I'm very proud of myself like I'm proud of how much I've moved out of these harsh conversations with myself into seeing what I'm capable of and what is so fantastic around my physical body what it's capable of and that actually I fully plan on moving into to 2020 in the next decade and my 40s being even stronger than I ever was because I can tell you without a doubt for the last 10 years I am by far stronger now than pretty much almost any point that I was in the last 10 years and that's kind of a miracle like I started out the decade at 32 and I'm now 42 and to be like wow I'm stronger I have better movement I have less pain, like everything is working better than it did when I was 32 is just kind of amazing to say. And so I'm here to tell you like this is the reason it's important for us to look at these things because if you actually don't ever take the time to stop and acknowledge it, like how will you know how far you've come? And by looking at how far you've come, then you can start to be like, oh, what is possible for me? Like, where could I move now into the future? And like, I have goals coming up this coming year around weightlifting competitions and getting stronger, having more PRs. Um, I have goals around yoga stuff and I have really goals around trying new things. Um, I'm doing like another tap dance performance this soon and so just challenging myself physically constantly helps me remind myself mentally that I'm capable of so much so I just say that for you like what can you do for yourself this week to acknowledge around any shifts and changes you've had around your health in the last decade and notice um, what you've done differently what you've made work for yourself and really appreciate how far you've come from a decade ago because I guarantee you there's a lot to look at and there's a lot that has probably shifted and changed in a really great way and actually there may be lessons you learned a decade ago that you want to bring back in today like that's another way to look at it like oh yeah like I actually used to move and do stuff I really loved when I was 10 years ago and now it's time for me to bring it back that there's a lot of get there's a gift in looking back 
at your life previous to actually move yourself into your future. So that's really my advice for you today on looking back at your health. Share with me in the comments. I'd love to hear what it is for you that's moved and changed and made, been made different in the last decade of your health life and what you'd like to shift and bring into into the future in 2020.